Welcome to Vinoteca Barcelona, Cafe Amsterdam. Uh, my name is Joan. Today we're going to present what it seems to be a complicated play, but uh, we're going to do it very simple. Again, using the same format like usual, uh, we're going to use only one pan. We've got all the ingredients here. Let me introduce the ingredients. We've got some sivas. The fish is totally up to you. The plate that we are doing is a fish casserole. As I said, it's quite a traditional plate, but it's not complicated at all. So we've got some local clams, beautiful, big ones, not rubbery at all. We've got some kim browns, flour, a bit of cherry tomato, garlic, a boiled potato, some parsley, and the onion. We have here some brandy, which is totally optional. We have the pan. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open the clams. Uh, to open the clams, we just have to heat it a bit. We're going to use some mineral water. Okay. We start opening the clams because sometimes you can find some kind of sand in the clams that may ruin your plate. Okay, so when the clam is going to open, it's going to take all the flavor, all the flavor that the clam has inside. We're going to use it for the sauce that we're going to serve with the fish. We're going to take these beautiful sivas. We use like four small pieces of sivas. As I said, it's totally optional if uh, you want to use hamur or you want to use another kind of, uh, of fish. Okay, as you can see the clams, they're just opening. Okay, as you can see the clam, it's not cooked, it's just open. Just some salt. Okay, slightly we flour the sivas. Four pieces, more than enough. We've got four pieces, two browns, four clams per portion. We add a bit of olive oil. We're just going to seal the fish and later on we will finish to cook it. Let's go with the browns. The important thing of the browns is to keep the head of the brown. We clean it already, we remove the sand which is in the loin of the brown. I love to keep the skin on the fish. Many people doesn't like the skin on the fish. As you know, I mean all the frozen fish normally is without skin. So for me keeping the skin is a plus. We're going to go with the browns also just to seal it. Three. And four. Same hand, or same method that with the sivas. We don't want the brown to be fully cooked. We will cook it later on with all the juice. So now I put my sivas apart. All the flavor is sticking in the pan. We're gonna recover this with the onion and with the vegetables that we're gonna add now. First thing that we add, pan full of flavor, are my head browns. Brown head has all the flavor, seafood flavor is inside. So it's what we're trying to rescue here. We got my vegetables here. Always the first thing that we start with is the garlic. We just crush it with the knife. We add it to our marvelous brown head. Back to the top. Now we can add some onion. Look this onion, how it gets the color. This red color from the browns. We're gonna go with the carrot now. Half carrot enough. One of the tricks is to actually press the brown's head to take all the flavor from inside. Just we slice it for the cherry tomato, like this, to make it easy to get all the juice inside my mixture of vegetables and brown's head. Okay, so that. We're going to leave it to roast for about five minutes, just to get all the sugar and the water from the onion onto the head browns and then we're gonna add our brandy which I said is totally optional. Okay, brandy we added like that. Alcohol will burn now but the flavor will stay there. Okay, it starts to look very nice. You see the difference from the beginning, how the color is now very very dark. Again we're using mineral water, so you don't have actually to elaborate a properly seafood stock. You remember at the beginning we got the flour, so this flour will actually make thick the sauce. This we're gonna boil it for about 
10 minutes. That's the traditional pot to serve the casserole. You have a current normal boiled potato. I love to use it with skin. I'm gonna use it as a base for the fish. I will put it, as I said, as a base. You can see how it's going, this magnific broth that we did, spread in one pan, we are recovering the flavor of the sivas. We have our fish here. Remember that the, the fish is not fully cooked. It's gonna cook all together. My beautiful clams. I love to recover all the juices that my fish, my clams are giving me. My clam juice. Okay, you can see that the broth, even we add only water, as per all the sugar that the vegetable has and the flour that gets stick it in the pan. To make sure we get the maximum of the flavor, what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend all together. Here can be a strain, thin one. Here's all the flavor for my fish. And we have beautiful juice. I'm gonna boil it again, just to make sure we got the salt enough to our palate. Just a little bit of black pepper. We need to chop some fresh parsley. Parsley will give you this freshness to the sauce. My stock already boiled. Okay, last step is to add my stock to my fish and cook all together for about five minutes just to make sure all the flavors come together. You can finish to cook it in the oven if you prefer. But I'm more quite fan of my stove. Let's to finish, just to chop some parsley. Very thin. Okay. It's starting to boil. Just five minutes. Okay, now it's almost done. Here we have two options to present the plate. As a traditional plate, we can present it in the traditional clay pot. Otherwise, we can also plate it like in a modern manner. I'm missing my, my parsley last minute. 